Oh, hello. My name is Mara and welcome to Books Like Whoa. Okay guys, I am bringing back a video that I did last spring and I think you guys really enjoyed it. So I wanted to do it again, which is basically, I'm just gonna like run through all of the books that are currently on my physical TBR. I think there's about 60 of them. And I don't know, like I enjoy watching these types of videos from other people. I think that it just kind of gives you a sense of like what all is sort of on deck for me. And for me, what I consider to be on my actual physical TBR are things that are either a part of a challenge that I'm doing. So like I definitely need to get to them some at some point in this year. Things that I'm just excited about imminently are coming up or um, any kind of buddy reads or book club things that I have going on. So this is like a snapshot in time because obviously this changes like day to day, like as I'm finishing books or getting new ones. So this is a snapshot of my TBR. And I thought maybe we would kind of go on a journey through my bookshelf. So we'll start here on my TBR cart here in my bedroom and then we'll move uh, into the classics bookshelves and then into sort of my general bookshelves. So let's just get into it guys. Oh, and I'm not gonna try to do these in any particular order. These are just literally gonna be me like grabbing them and talking about them. So it's not gonna be alphabetical. Have fun with this future me when you do your editing and type up the description box. Girls with Sharp Sticks by Suzanne Young. Killing November by Adriana Mather. The Last by Hannah Jameson. Artificial Condition by Martha Wells. The Stranger Diaries by Ellie Griffiths. Space Opera by Catherine M. Valenti. Educated by Tara Westover. A Winter's Promise by Christelle Debeau. Blood Witch by Susan Dennard. Unfair, The New Science of Criminal Injustice by Adam Benferredo. Bitter Orange by Claire Fuller. The Suffragette Scandal by Courtney Milan. My Favorite Thing is Monsters by Emil Ferris. The Three Body Problem by Shishin Lu. The Buried Giant by Kaza Ishiguru. How Long Till Black Future Month by N.K. Jemison. Hey there, future me here. Uh, I had some footage get corrupted, so I missed seven books right in the spot. So here we go. Amberlo by Laura Elena Donnelly. Dragon Shadow by L. Catherine White. Diving Bells by Lucy Wood. Piter the Latvian by Georges Simeon. The Haunting of Maddie Claire by Simone St. James. My Sister the Serial Killer by Okinya Braithwaite. And Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. The book that I need to just finish because honestly, oh, why do I not just polish this off? I have like a hundred pages left. Anyway, it is still on my TBR. Carry on. The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Pursuing Happiness, Reading American Romance as Political Fiction by Laura Vivanco. In the Bleak Midwinter by Julia Spencer Fleming. Sawkill Girls by Claire Legrand. So that is everything here in my TBR cart world. Let's go to, I think we'll go to my classics bookshelf next. Okay, we resume at my uh, main bookshelf and wardrobe change is because I had to go run some errands and didn't feel like doing that in my pajamas. So let's dive into the next batch here, shall we? Slouching Towards Bethlehem by Joan Didion. North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. Circe by Madeline Miller. Normal People by Sally Rooney. Stoner by John Williams. Difficult Women by Roxane Gay. I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. The Warden by Anne Anthony Trollope, Dr. Olaf von Schuyler's Brain by Kirsten Minger Anderson. This has the distinction of being on my bookshelf the longest without me having read it. I think we are coming up on maybe eight, nine, or 10 years. <laughs> It's gonna happen. Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. Essays and Understanding by Hannah Arendt. The Web of Life by Fritjof Capra. Human in Death by Keisha Ali. The Woman Reader by Belinda Jack. Beyonce in Formation by Onisuke Tinsley. Women and Power by Mary Beard. The Art and Science of Low Carbohydrate Living by Volek and Finney. Born Again Bodies by R. Mary Griffith. Blessed by Kate Bowler. Becoming Wise, an Inquiry into the Mystery and Art of Living by Krista Tippett. And I think that's it for this main shelf. The rest are out on my classics collection shelf. So I will meet you back there. Okay, we have made it all the way out to my collections bookshelf. Now, let me go ahead and ask for your forgiveness on the front end because uh, they're doing work on my neighbor's house. And so there may be a little more noise out in this location, but Let's get into the last of the things that are on my TBR. The Good Soldier by Ford Maddox Ford. The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Hey guys, actually quick update is I filmed that 
what you've been seeing the day before the fire at the Notre Dame Cathedral. So I'm going to replace Les Miserables with The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I think I'm probably going to do a read along with it. So look for information about that to do like a read along of The Hunchback of Notre Dame in the first half of July, I think, so that we could do the wrap up on Bastille Day. Okay. Back to TBR. Le Comte de Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. I promise that's the end of my terrible French pronunciation. The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Bride's Head Revisited by Evelyn Waugh. A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. Far From the Matting Crowd by Thomas Hardy. David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. And last but not least, Dracula by Bram Stoker. So those are, I think, most of the books that are on my physical TBR right now. Because they are somewhat spread out, it can get a little tricky for me to have a complete list. I will do my best to have all the books I mentioned listed in the description box below, but have some grace for me, because like I said, it's just a lot. And sometimes the list I have on my computer doesn't 100% match what is true. So some grace would be appreciated, but I will do my best to have that below. And yeah, just let me know what you think. Are there any books on here that you think I'm especially going to love or loathe? Are there any books on here that you love or loathe? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, I think that will do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social meds if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below. And I think that that will do it. Hope you're having a super lovely day and I will just talk to you soon. Bye.